Hello everyone, I'm Teacher Glenn. Today, I will learn a short demonstration uh, for dressmaking in situ under the code number GRM743203. The most important part uh, for dressmaking is the measurement. So today, we will learn all about uh, the body measurements or the body points and uh, later on I will show you a demonstration of, of the basic measurements uh, for blouse and pants. But before we go further, I will discuss first uh, the individual measurement charts. We use this uh, chart to draft uh, the measurements that we get from our customer as a dressmaker. So there are three parts of uh, the individual measurement chart. The first part is the horizontal uh, measurements. The second is the vertical measurements, and then the third is the uh, circumferential measurement so these are the points or the body points for the horizontal measurement the first is the shoulder width the chest the across back and then the apex distance for vertical measurements we have the back with this the front bodies, the armhole depth, the apex height, the skirt side we, uh, waist, the length of the sleeve, the crotch or the rise depth, and the last part is uh, the circumferential measurement. We have uh, the neck hole, the bust, armhole, the waist, the hips, the girt sleeve uh, width, and then the leg hole. So the tools that we are going to use, the first tool is the tape measure. The second is pencil and a notebook. We also use this uh, ruler later on. Okay. Let's start measuring. This is uh, measurement intended for horizontal measurement. The first horizontal measurement is the shoulder width. The shoulder width uh, measured from the shoulder tip to back neck to shoulder tip. So this part here. So this is the shoulder width. Next, for horizontal measurement, is the chest. The chest is measured from this point to this point. This is the chest. Across back is the reverse part of uh, the chest. So you're measured at this side to that side. And this is the across back. The last part for horizontal measurements is the apex distance. The apex, uh, apex distance is the distance between your two nipples. So we will have the measurement here and here. So this is the apex distance. For a vertical measurement, we have the back bodies. The back bodies is measured from the neck point, the shoulder blade, down to the waistline. So this is the uh, back bodies. The next is the front bodies. 
the front to this is measured from the neck point down to apex and then the waistline. So this is now the front bodies. For the armhole depth, we will use the ruler. We insert this part here and then we measure the armhole depth from this part to that part. So from the shoulder tip to the armhole. So this is the armhole tip. For the skirt length, we'll have the measurement from the waistline down to the ankle part. So this is the skirt length. The next is the crotch or the rise step. From this side here, waistline, front side, and then the back side of the waistline. So this is the crutch or the rise step. So the next is the length of the sleeve and it's the last part of uh, the vertical measurement. So the length of the sleeve is from the tip point down to any desired length. So this is, uh, it could be this length here, that length, or a long sleeve. So this is the length of the sleeve. The next for circumferential measurements is the neck hole. Uh, when you have a circumferential measurement, uh, the, you need to have the allowance. So upon having the allowance, you need to insert two finger uh, when you have the measurement. So this is the neck hole. So now, this is the neck hole. The next for circumferential measurement is the bust. The bust is measured from the back point to the apex point, inserting two fingers. So this is the bust. So we have next the arm hole. So this is now the arm hole. The next is the waist line. The waist line, insert again two fingers. So this is the waistline. Another for circumferential measurements, we have the hips. Again, insert two fingers for your allowance, and then this is the hips. Uh, this is the girth sleeve. So the, uh, the sleeve is at any desired length. So this is how we get the girth, uh, girth sleeve or for half sleeve 
here or for long sleeve here so this is the girt sleeve for the leg hole we measure it from the knee this is the leg uh, leg hole knee part and then the ankle part so this is the leg hole 